What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You already know who this is. It's your boy, you know, Scaled It Vlogs. This is the comedy slash discussion. I try to cover as much topic as possible. It's not just about one topic, because otherwise life is so boring, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why, for example, God created us in different colors so we can explore different languages, different skin tone, colors in different mindsets, different religion, and also different um, ethics. You know, this is uh, an amazing place to be right now and i'm so excited to tell you guys this today's topic is going to be an amazing and exciting one and it's very um very controversial very outspoken conversation a lot of people around the world have been covering this i want to try to be quick as possible and shop about this because right now i'm actually in the comfort of the home of uh my mom i'm actually living with my mother at the moment because you know how everything in bills and everything is so high in rent money has become a problem you know what i'm saying and sometimes i feel as if you know Living with people and sharing accommodation has been the one thing that can always like seem so positively apart, uh, affordable. So yes, this topic is about accommodation and living. Uh, you know, as for me, I'm, this is more of like a transformation journey for me. So I'm actually, uh, you know, uh, I'm growing up and I'm becoming more of a man than I ever was. And so, you know, uh, I'm starting to see that even in the Bible, it says that a man will grow up and will leave the mother's and the father's house and he will find his own space, his own house, and he will have his own wife raise his own children. And so will his children also grow up to do the same thing. And that's just the empowerment that God has given us that, you know, you are capable of going out and becoming a man and doing the things that your father that has has taught you and your mother has you know the responsibility that you have to take for your life and also at the same time the most wonderful thing about it is that we still have a family that are actually in there to support us so this one here is for everyone out there, for every person who is living with their mom or their dad, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're living with a family member that is a close relation to you, and you start to feel as if, you know, it's getting a little bit congested, you start to feel as if it's time for me to move out, it's time for me to take care of myself, my own responsibility, health issues, medical issues, and money issues, and house issues, and food issues, donation issues, saving issues, everything that you're facing right now. It's just preparing you ready for the next chapter of your life so don't you ever feel and think as if your life is worth nothing because everybody in this life has been through something everybody's been through something that most people um we are very not so different we are much like alike you know um uh, you might have gone through something that's deeper than mine i could have gone through something that's a lot less shallow or deeper than yours but really i've been through something so comparing each other's differences in how many how much we've been through it can be unfair sometimes because I feel as if people that have been through more should be outspoken and also people that have been through less should be outspoken because at the end of the day it does matter it does not mean it doesn't you know it does not really um dissatisfy the fact that you know everybody else has been through something you've been through something it's it doesn't matter how little it was you know it might have been little but it would have been a lot to you and it could have been a lot and it could have been a lot more than the person that has been through little but it still hurt because at the end of the day pain is pain pain is just pain at the end of the day it doesn't matter what type of pain it is if it's excruciating pain if it's agonizing pain if it's it's, it's, it's a pain that it, it could be spiritual, it could be physical, it could be mentally, it could be a feeling of pain, it could be any sort of pain, it doesn't matter the pain, the pain is always a pain. So if it's a pain, you felt it, it's a pain. So nobody should come and tell somebody else, oh, because you've been through less pain that I've been through, I don't think you know what pain is. I know what pain is. I know a fraction of what pain is. Oh, I know a lot more than a fraction of what pain is. So it doesn't matter. So back to the topic covering to those people that are living with their mom and dads, especially like me, I've been living with my mom and my dad for most of my life. You know what I'm saying? And I have actually moved out of home. I have tried to get out there. I've tried. I've left my parents' homes. I've traveled, um, and I have been. I've lived with people um, that are so-called friends, which I then find out later that so-called friends were not so-called friends after all. So trusting people to live with people is kind of hard. It's a harsh reality out there because everybody's 
going through their own that we don't know, realize, and think about. Some people go through things that they never talk about, so we never really know what someone is really going through. And so we should just be nice to other people and respect each other. And just for that fact that the people that are actually helping us lie, um, leave or helping us out, I've learned to understand that it's good to you know, uh, appreciate people and thank them for what they do because, you know, at the end of the day, if it wasn't through God and through the person that you're living with, maybe God takes us to different things so we can just see the difference and realize, you know, where we stand, where we're supposed to be, you know, if you're not supposed to be somewhere, you definitely eventually get out. It's a supernatural feeling. So therefore, living with your parents is not such a bad thing. Like for us men especially, if you live with your mom, for those guys that live with their moms, like there comes a time in our life where moms also feel as if, you know, they deserve and they need their privacy. Everybody needs their privacy. They want to do their own things without somebody else being around, interrupting. Like it all comes down to a personal issue, a personal feeling, some type of way that a person feels. That doesn't mean they hate you. It does not mean they hate you at all. It just means that hey man look listen I mean as much as I would like you to stay here but you know I really need my own time too sometimes it just feels as if I want to walk around my house naked or I would like to go around my house and bring anybody alive with that you always having to body it or having to see everything that I'm doing I want my privacy and that's that please accept the fact that I've helped you and look about the good things that I've brought in your life instead of the one time negative that I'm telling you to leave and that you think as if you know this is it you know what i'm saying it is not hate it is just a way of saying hey i think you are ready you can do this go out there and get it and if you need anything just let me know if it's too hard you can come back but please make sure you don't come back too soon pray your heart so that everything that you're going through that comes out as a positive so that you might push through and find what you're looking for 100 percent you're gonna find what you're looking for and when you come back here you're gonna tell me all about it and you're gonna be successful leaving this how it means you're going to be successful that's the positive direction that moms and dads want to hear they want to see us go through so so if you're going through this just remember you're growing up and parents can usually see and tell that their kids are already mature enough they can do it the mental state and they can see that you're growing up if your mom and dad didn't think you're capable of doing anything they wouldn't be asking you to leave the house so they can see that you're capable you can see you're strong and you can handle it they believe you can do it they hope in christ and jesus you will make it through so guys don't forget